Canelo Alvarez versus Berlanga. Now let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. This is a great fight. Uh, Mexican versus Puerto Rican showdown. Um, Canelo is chasing his, uh, his, you know, he's just added to his legacy with a fight like this. With a Berlanga who deserves this shot. <laughs> Any decision Canelo makes at this point is not on him. Yeah, bro. So look, man. Let's get real on him, right? So I guess uh, it's going to be Canelo and Berlanga next. Your boy was right again. I hate to tell you guys this, bro. I, 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 really, need to, I really need to stop picking on you guys, man, because, because I'm actually starting to feel kind of bad, bro. Like... You guys have it hard now. You, you know, it's tough. It's tough these days to be a Canelo fan, bro. You guys got this shit so fucking hard. And then you got assholes like me coming out here and making it harder for y'all, bro. At the end of the day, man, um, I don't want none of y'all. On, on, I, know, I know you guys are on suicide watch. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking, right? And I don't want you guys to do no crazy shit. This is just boxing, bro. Um, You know, I know you guys' idol is out here, you know, uh, making it real hard for you guys to defend him. But, um, I mean, there's still some excuses, bro. Uh, try to run with excuses like Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Or, I don't know, I think they made Berlanga the mandatory in some weird way or shape or form, right? You guys could run with that excuse, too, you know? Uh, he's the mandatory, so Canelo had to fight him. Or, I don't know, something. Um, make uh, another good excuse would probably be uh, Canelo's at the end of his career. Or, I don't know, right? Whatever. Y'all just keep coming up with these excuses. I mean, what can I say about this fight, bro? Realistically, like, everybody knows what time it is, bro. There's nothing that I could come out here and tell you guys. You guys already know what time it is, what kind of a fight this is. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get out the news, man. I'm not even going to talk shit about this shit, bro, you know. Um, I don't got to, you know. It's, it's pretty evident. I had told y'all that this was probably going to happen, and now it's happening again when everybody was saying, oh, Canelo Benavides, September, this and that. This shit is just pathetic, man. So, um... Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that this is going to be Canelo's next opponent, right? But look, I want to talk about something, man. Um, getting back to Benavides versus Vosdick because Canelo really ain't even worth me taking up too much damn time. Um, Benavides versus Vosdick. So I was watching Teddy Atlas, man. And, you know, who knows more about boxing than Teddy Atlas? It ain't none of you damn cinnamon groupies for sure. You know what I'm saying? This guy's been in the business I want to say, what, 40, 50 years or something? I don't even know, but he's... If anybody knows about boxing, it's this guy, right? And I want to show you guys a couple of things that he says, because let's get right into it, bro. Look, listen up. And what I want to dismiss is the notion for anyone out there taking shots at Benavides that it wasn't a good performance. I, I don't think you know what you're talking about, because I thought, again, he showed me offense and defense. He showed me, you know... Uh, not only his ability to always do what he does, which is get inside, attack the body, put punches together, run punches, but his ability to get inside without getting hit, his ability to get in clean. Uh, his ability to put on a dominant performance. Uh, again, his ability to be more than just a big, strong monster, a guy whose technique is also there, even though he doesn't get credit for it. He doesn't get credit for it, but it was there. He was avoiding punches. He was getting in clean. Um, it's all of that. So, I, if, if you're going to say now that, oh, he lost something moving up to light heavy, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. I think he fits right in the light heavyweight picture. I don't see any way. So, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man, because at the end of the day, bro, you Canelo groupies come out here and talk all this shit, and you guys think you guys know more than Teddy Atlas, bro. I mean, miss me with all the bullshit that you guys are saying. I'm just showing you how somebody that really knows boxing bro you guys cannot say you guys if you guys talk shit about teddy atlas then there's something wrong with y'all bro you know what i'm saying this guy knows boxing he's been in this shit forever this guy is pretty much agreeing with everything that i've been telling you guys you know what i'm saying and i hadn't seen this shit i just seen this shit today man but i'd be looking at this shit like damn you know i do know a little something about boxing after all you know this guy agrees with everything that i've been saying and that's not all bro i wanted to show because I was over here. You guys keep saying that I'm hyping up Vosdick, right? 
let's not also forget Alex Vosnick, Olympic bronze medalist, 250 amateur oh, yeah. fights, lineal light heavyweight champ. He lost to, he got knocked out by Better Beev in a fight he was winning in the tenth round. This is a like experienced, world class light heavyweight guy. He's not moving up against a can. Well, that's why I picked him to win or I'll give yeah. him a chance to win. But so, you know what I'm saying, you guys. You guys saying I was hyping up Vosdig. They're pretty much saying the same thing that I've, I've been telling you guys. I wasn't hyping up no Vosdig. I was just keeping it real with y'all, telling y'all the truth on Vosdig. But I know you guys, you guys, at the end, bro, I'm going to keep coming out with the facts. And I'm going to keep exposing y'all. And y'all could keep talking shit. You guys could keep making things up and lying and shit. But, bro, you know, you got boxing experts pretty much telling y'all what I've been telling y'all, man. You know, um, and, it's, and, and if you guys think that your guys' opinion matters more than Teddy Atlas's. I mean, bro, I don't know what else to say. You know, you guys are tripping. This guy's been in boxing probably 50 years, you know. And he's pretty much just breaking it down how it really is, bro. Even in this interview, I didn't I didn't look for it, right? But it's in here somewhere. If you guys want to go uh, take a look at this, it's on uh, Teddy Atlas's channel. He's talking about how Vosdick put on a lot more size than when he was training him. You know, he was saying, like, God damn, Vosdick looked even bigger, man. And this is what I was telling y'all, bro. Benavides was fighting a bigger Vosdick. Vosdick was huge when he came into the ring, bro. He rehydrated up something serious. And, man, Benavides was undersized, and he still did all of that shit, bro. He still won almost every single round, and he's not getting the credit. And people are out here trying to say that he had a bad performance when he had two busted-up hands, a cut eyelid. And he did all of that shit to Vosdick. And you guys say that he's gonna, that Canelo's gonna beat him. I mean, miss me with that shit, bro. At the end of the day, we're never gonna know. I mean, we will know, bro. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know how we'll figure it out. Probably Benavides will come up here fight Bivol or, or Better Beev. Um, those are gonna be some good fights. I'm not gonna come out here and say that uh, that all uh, Benavides is gonna run through these guys. Of course, I'll be stupid as fuck to say that. Benavides versus Bivol is a 50 50. Benavides versus Better Beev is a 50 50, you know. But if um, if Benavides could beat Bivo, I think that's probably the only way that we'll know, like, okay, yeah, uh, Benavides would have whooped Canelo's ass. You know, because Canelo's not going to fight him no time soon, bro. I've been telling y'all, I've been preaching this shit forever. Been getting a lot of hate for it when I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You know, um, Canelo's out here fighting Berlanga, bro. Uh, like I said, I don't even got to say nothing about that shit. You guys, you guys uh, get yourselves wrapped up into that shit, you know, but... I just wanted to share this information with y'all so you guys could see what the real boxing experts are out here saying, man. Not you guys in the comments, not you Canelo lovers in the comments leaving just... I, I keep hitting y'all with facts and you guys just keep... I don't know what you guys expect, bro. I just... I don't get it right. But yeah, that's it for me, man. I'm not going to drag this video out too much longer. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you, wanna, if you want real boxing knowledge, real boxing truth, subscribe to my channel, man. And all of you Canelo groupies, bro... I just suggest, I don't know, don't watch my channel or or maybe you're going to bet on some fights and then watch my channel so you guys could get the real scoop on things. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys are just out here looking for somebody to praise uh, Canelo, go back to your boy IBFP Diddy because that shit ain't happening here, right? We keep it real on this channel. But that's it for me, man. I'll be on to the next one, man. I'm up. Any decision Canelo makes at this point is not on him.